God cannot give everybody, just anoint everybody at the same time. No. When he wants to release a dimension of his possibilities on earth, the way he does it is to find a man. When he finds a man, he enters a covenant with that man that becomes a platform for allowing a territory experience that spiritual possibility. Subscribe to our, our, our YouTube channel. Welcome to this journey where we uncover the wisdom and direction available to us in every season of our lives. Today we are diving into a concept of receiving a prophetic blueprint for each phase we encounter. Imagine having a divine map, a guide through life's unpredictable terrain. How different would your choices be if you knew you were on the right path in harmony with God's purpose? This is what we are exploring today, the profound connection between prayer, prophetic insight and finding God's direction. Why should you watch this video? This video isn't just about understanding the concept of spiritual season, but about equipping you with practical insights on how to receive God's guidance, use it to make wise, purposeful decisions. If you ever felt uncertain or stagnant, questioning your correct path, or if you are someone who seeks deeper purpose, this video will open you up ways for you to find clarity and align with God's timing. You will learn not only to recognize the season you are in, but how to assess divine strategies. Tell us for you empowering you to move forward with peace and purpose make sure you watch this video thank you is someone learning tonight number three very quickly what happens when we pray when we pray we receive direction for the next level receiving a blueprint is not the same as receiving direction receiving a blueprint talks of the mandate for the next level but receiving direction for the next level isaiah 30 21 Isaiah 30, 21. And thine ears shall hear a voice from behind you saying, this is the way. Listen, your blueprint talks of the place, but direction talks of the way to the place. You can know the place, but you may not know the way to the place. I tell you this, I have learned this as a leader and as a man of God, that one of the major reasons for the delay of people is confusion over direction. Confusion over direction. Your life is as fast as your knowledge of the direction. Are we together? Some of you, most of you drive here. If I tell you go to ShopRite or any one of these places and buy me something, if you know the direction, you can almost time your arrival there. That in five or ten minutes, except for traffic, I am there. But if you do not have direction, even though you know the place, you can go round and round and round until you find yourself in another state. And people ask you, what are you doing here? You say, I started a simple journey to go to a shopping mall that was 10 minutes away. And I began to go and go and go and go and lack of direction, not lack of motion. Many of us, the reason why we are stunted in life and in destiny is we have not had the voice saying, this is the way, walk in it. If you're in business here, listen to me. By God's grace, huh? I have sufficient financial intelligence by the mercies of God. But I will tell you this. The biggest risk you can take in your life in this end time is to use common sense. You will fail in a way that your life will become a memorial for many people. Common sense has destroyed people. You need divine direction. The unbeliever who is doing business is not under attack because he's serving Satan. You who has vowed to God that you will not bribe, you will not kill, you will not be corrupt. You are the one whose testimony Satan is interested in. You need divine direction. Someone say divine direction. Never take a step until you get clarity of direction. Write that down. Never take a destiny step till you get clarity of direction. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. Let's hurry up. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. I feel like starting ministry. Huh. You see, Ba, this direction sometimes is not just limited in showing you where to go. This direction is also showing you how to escape trouble. When Jesus was teaching us how to pray, he said, lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil you know what temptation is anything that can have a hold on you and trap you down he says there had no temptation taken you but such as is common to man listen but God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted above that which you are able to but with that temptation he will make a way to escape a way to escape a way to escape that means when people put a snare for you to trap you down in life to trap you down in ministry if you know how to pray there is no snare of the fowler that shall ever lay sway on you i'm telling you if the devil puts a trap for you and you actually go in and enter there it's because you did not maximize the riches that come in prayer are we together let us set this trap so that when he comes he will fall into it in ministry fall into it in destiny fall into it and because you are directed by the spirit the bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord in the office they orchestrate something and leave it for you just when trouble is brewing they've been praying so that they trap you and take you out of that place now plus discernment plus your prophetic destiny and now you have direction you will be surprised most of us lack direction and you must pray ladies and gentlemen direction does not come after one day of prayer you will need to pray until it comes but when it comes you will obtain grace to run you will run like elijah when you have direction i'm praying for you every confusion in and around your life in the name that is above all names in this season may my god grant you direction as you submit to pray may my god grant you direction as you submit to pray in the name of jesus christ direction for the next level for everyone that seek it find it matthew 7 7 and 8 8 says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that seek it find it everyone that knock it it shall be opened you must cry for direction lord where do i go with my wife and my children now I've lost a job. I have opportunities to go to Canada. I have opportunities to go to UK. I have opportunities to go to wherever it is. But Lord, it looks tempting, I confess. But I cry for grace. I cry for grace. Give me direction. Where am I going to now? What is the next level of my life? I, I sense in my heart, I, I, I was praying for the next level in ministry. And I saw Bielsa. It doesn't mean Bielsa is where you go to. It can mean that's where an attack is coming from. You have to pray. Don't assume. Direction. As for me, if God does not speak about the next level of koinonia, we stay here honorably. But when he speaks, there is no power in existence. No power in existence. I rather mark time with God and move straight from this level into another level of victory than to keep taking many leaps without God and life will have to force you to return back to your last place of obedience and start the journey again. And welcome back. What a powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Sermon. So we are going to be doing a recap of the sermon. So this message focus on how God provides a prophetic blueprint for each season in our life. We discussed the importance of discerning the season we are in and how each phase has a purpose from growth to preparation, even waiting. Through prayer, seeking God's wisdom, we learn to trust His guidance step by step, aligning ourselves with His divine timing. We also touch on how patience and humility help us to hear from God clearly, teaching us to follow His leading instead of rushing ahead with our own plans. The blueprint of God provides the blueprint God provides is more than a map. It is a process of transformation, shaping us to be who He has called us to be. So we're going to also be looking at the notes taken by the creator. So these are the things that uh, we jotted down during the course of the message. Number one is we receive direction for the next level when we pray. Your blueprint talks about the place. Direction talks about the way to the place. The number three is the major reason for dealing with people's destiny is confusion over direction. The number four is the biggest risk you can take in your life in this end time is common sense. 
the bigger risk you can take in your life in this end time is what common says never take a step until you get clarity of direction direction also shows us how to escape troubles direction does not come after one day prayer you must pray until what direction comes so i'm going to be leaving you guys with a question question so this question segment you guys are going to answer it through the comment section so what are the questions number one is how can i recognize what season i mean number two question what does it mean to receive a prophetic blueprint the number three question is why doesn't god review everything at once the number four question is what how do i handle times when god is silent so make sure you answer this question this question will be will be displayed on the screen and make sure you use the comment section to what answer the question and let us engage furthermore thank you so much for for, for watching this video